your butcher, your scripture. Shame, shame, shame on Islam. Matthew chapter 24, verse 34. Truly, before this generation ends, Christ will return. He did not. Therefore, by her own biblical standards, Christ is a false prophet, you lady an apostate. Alright, we're going to the third topic. Is Muhammad a true or false prophet? So topic is if Muhammad is true and false prophet. Oh. As a Christian, there is only one answer to that question. Muhammad is not only false prophet, he is the one of the first prophet Islam identifies. His reasons. Bible gives us the criteria for the prophet, which Muhammad confirms. Okay? Deuteronomy chapter 13. People can come and make miracles, make signs, but when they come and introduce new God, watch out for them, they are the false prophets. Jesus himself talks about the false prophets, and we know Jesus is directly looks like talking about Muhammad. Also, Galatians talks about someone comes and then preaches something beside what we identified as the gospel, do not follow them, even if it is the angel from heaven. Surah 3 verse 81, Muhammad confirms that criteria, yet, yet, 1.84 billion people are following this false prophet. Here's a couple of top reasons why Muhammad is false prophet. First of all, he goes teachings against the Bible. He discredits the criteria which he confirmed in Surah 3, verse 81. Second reason, he worships the pagan gods. Third reason, he comes and discredits his own revelation. Fourth reason, fourth reason, he goes against the teachings of the gospel and Jesus. Therefore, he is false prophet. I would like to thank Hatton. I would like to remind her that the topic is not is Muhammad a prophet according to her fake Bible. The topic is is Muhammad a true prophet or not? The answer is simple. I will give you an example from the Bible. Matthew chapter 24 verse 34. Truly before this generation ends, Christ will return. He did not. Therefore by her own biblical standards, Christ is a false prophet, you lady an apostate. For like what, the third time now? So the point is simple. I present it to you. She calls Galatians on bringing another false gospel. She needs to understand that this refers to Paul's own testimony. In Titus chapter uh, 3 verse 9, he commands his scribe, look to write, do not quarrel about the genealogies and the law. Why? Because the Christians with Paul were arguing about what the law was inside Christianity, what they're supposed to accept the law of Moses. Now she says, did uh, Muhammad bring a fake uh, message because he had a different message. The message of Christianity is distinct from the message of Abraham, Moses, David, etc. Now let me remind you of this. If you hold the Bible to be authoritative, you hold Paul to be authoritative, why does the scribe Luke and Titus 3.9 say, don't write about genealogies, when then when he later writes his own gospel, he has a genealogy in chapter Luke chapter 3. The point is quite simple. Your own biblical criteria, your own biblical standards have been, have been destroyed. It's very simple. Your criteria, hold on. The criteria is very simple. You said if the prophet, peace be upon him, is a false prophet, he must have said some false prophecies. He has never given a single false prophecy, but I have shown you that Christ, her fake Christ in the fake New Testament, has shame on you, woman. I'm good. No. No, oh, what's up? Hey. <laughs> she should be feeling the fire, not cold, yes? Emotional Christians. Hold two minutes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can speak approximately 120 words. We heard the response, but did we hear the answer? No! Yes. We did! And no answer to my question. 
Not big. Well, he did was get over the back of Chapter 24 to put off his other sports religion. No, I'm good. She said, uh, so this is your second one, right? right so then, to when she speaks of her last time, and then uh, we'll go to the fourth topic, right? She said 381? 381? 381, 751. Okay, we're going to go to Are you ready? Uh, yeah, okay. Are you sure? Well, I have no idea what she said, but yeah. Right, yeah. It's in the Sultan. It's in the Sultan. Right, thank you, Hatton. Again, I put the question to you How is Muhammad a false prophet? The easy way to do that, for anyone who has common sense, show where he gives a prophecy and then it's false. She didn't do that. But I did the opposite. I used logic. I used her own book against her. I showed where Christ allegedly made a prophecy and it failed. Her answer showed that she had no answer to. She was silent on it. She quoted it and then nothing else. So thank you for not refuting the point. Now, to addition to this, she mocks Islam by saying, why did the Christians come and ask your prophet these silly questions to prove whether or not he was an actual prophet? It's not my fault that Christians ask stupid questions. KSA in front of me does that all the time. We don't have to mock you for that, but that's the fact. If that's the kind of reasoning you want to use, I'll use it against you. Now, the question is simple. I have demonstrated that Christ, their version, made false prophecies. On the other hand, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, made multiple prophecies that were in fact correct. What is this prophecy? It's narrated from Imam al-Maqdisi in a book on the virtues of uh, Bayt al-Maqdis. That the Muslims will find uh, the temple in Jerusalem, not the temple, uh, Masjid al-Sakra, the holy ground, at a very specific place. He had never visited Jerusalem in his journeys. He gave the description in a hadith to his companions. And when they went with Umar ibn al-Khattab, they went and they visited. And you will read in the hadith that they looked at the buildings, they looked at the trash, they took a patrician with them. And he would say, Muhammad did not describe it in this way, he did not describe it in this way. And finally, when the patrician took him to Temple Mount, he said, yes, this is how the Prophet, peace be upon him, described it to us. So simple prophecy. He witnessed and he described in detail what Baitul Maqdis would look like, despite never being there physically. And yet, we have this confirmed by the companions decades after him. Subhanallah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Again, hold two minutes. But now answer to my question. Let me just read Let's go over this way. the uh, critique of Muhammad said yes. Listen very carefully. Listen very carefully. If a prophet or one who foretells by dreams appears among you and announces you, announce you a miracle, sign or wonder, and if the sign or wonder which is spoken takes place, and he says, let us follow other gods, and let us worship them, you must not listen to them. 
what Muhammad did? Muhammad did the same thing. Mm. Claim to bring the signs and wonders. I've got to know. <laughs> She's good. And God for people to worship. And my scripture says, which Muhammad confirmed the criteria of the prophethood. Surah 381. What is it? Muhammad, according to the Bible, with the criteria he confirmed, stands out as the false prophet. Matthew 24. Again, confirms Muhammad is the false prophet, Antichrist. Today, if you stand here and tell me Jesus Christ is not the prophet, I am so sorry to tell you, you've got to butcher your Allah this time and put your Quran under the bus. Your Quran confirms alongside of Jesus creates exactly the way Allah creates even the foster, yet same Jesus identified as in the Quran as the prophet. Why do you butcher your scripture? Shame, shame, shame what? on Islam and My Muhammad what? is Why do you false butcher prophet. your scripture? Time. Time. Right. You ready? It's your last one. Uh, one sec. Wait, I know that it's the last one. Come on. Uh, Second twelve. <laughs> Alright, you may you may begin. Right. So again, the question was simple. She the she agreed to the topic is Muhammad peace be upon him a false prophet or not? So the simple reason is, give us a prophecy he made which was not fulfilled. She could not do that. Secondly, I gave her a prophecy that was fulfilled by an, by uh, an imam of Masjid al-Aqsa, he recalls in his book on the virtues of Baitul Maqdis how the patrician misled the companions to the different churches saying that this was Masjid al-Aqsa, this was Masjid al-Aqsa and the companions without ever having been to Jerusalem only knew it by what the Prophet had foresaw they would have seen and he describes in detail the architecture of the building. It's very simple, a prophecy within their own lifetime, a prophecy that the people of Jerusalem used to this day. Day. Now, let me give you a false prophecy. I gave you about her fake Jesus using the fake Bible. I'll give you one that you, that you might enjoy. I will be reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses. Oh, uh, is it? Right, verse 2. I'm going to start with verse 1. Uh, it is necessary to boast, nothing is to be gained by it, but I will go on to visions and revelations of the Lord. I know a person in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven, whether in a body or not, out of the body I do not know, God knows. And I know that such a person, whether in the body or not, out of the body, blah, 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 uh, he goes on to say basically, he goes on basically to say that Christ Jesus gave himself a messenger of Satan. So she's saying in Galatians that if you bring a prophecy other than the gospel, you're a false prophet. Here Paul says he was given revelation by God and was indeed given to him by a messenger from Satan. So at the end of the day, thank you for proving that your book, this book is satanic, that Paul prophesied the false prophet and he lied about revelation. The answer is simple. Give us a false prophet. See, no, okay, that was it. That was it. Right, okay. I have the false prophecy here, but it's time. Anyways, let's go. Okay, uh, what's the last one? Right, you guys want to go for dinner afterwards? <laughs> it's a joke. Right. Your, how, um, we're, we're trying to understand you. Again, my uh, accent is my accent difficult? No, no, about your joke. Uh, I'm, I'm getting it. Are you a Russian? Are you a Russian? No, are you a Russian? Could you Russian me? Right. Okay. Typical. Of course, you would be there. No, but she just.